What if I told you that none of those were built with traditional code? Would you believe me? Well, in this video, I'll be breaking down the best vibe coding tools that are completely changing how software gets built in 2025. So if you're just starting out, or even if you've been coding for years, these platforms are making it easier and faster than ever to bring ideas to life. I'll cover the best vibe coding platforms, what makes them different, and how to figure out which ones are the best fit for you. First up is Lovable, which is one of the most beginner-friendly vibe coding platforms out there right now, with over 500,000 users building more than 25,000 new products every single day. It's safe to say it's striking a bit of a chord with entrepreneurs. And that's likely because Lovable is especially great for beginner to intermediate builders, like the ones who are more visual and design focused. So if you're looking for fast front-end execution without getting caught up in technical complexity, this is a solid place to start. Plus, unlike a lot of vibe coding tools that stick to front-end only builds, Lovable actually supports some full stack development. So you can create everything from landing pages and SaaS prototypes to e-commerce sites and full web apps with built-in databases and user authentication included. Lovable also comes with React built-in for the front-end, Superbase for the back-end and database, and one-click deployment baked right in. So instead of stitching together a bunch of separate tools, you get a setup that just sort of works right out of the box. Overall, it's a strong option for solo entrepreneurs, but the next tool takes a different angle by focusing more on collaboration and education. Next up, let's talk about Replit. So they've evolved from a simple online IDE or integrated development environment into a full vibe coding platform powered by their Ghostwriter AI assistant. Again, it's a great fit for beginners who want to start coding without any setup, and it's just as useful for experienced developers who need to spin up quick prototypes. Where it really shines though is in educational settings and collaborative projects, where sharing and working together is actually a priority. Replit supports more than 50 programming languages and can handle a large range of projects like simple games and personal websites, or more intricate full stack applications with databases, APIs, and real time functionality. And it does so much more than simply generate code. It starts by asking smart questions about your project, so it can actually choose the right development approach from the start. With built-in collaboration tools, it's also a great choice for team projects and classroom settings. Now, while Replit is a strong choice for collaboration and learning, the next tool is built for developers who need a bit more firepower. If you're looking for something built with serious speed and enterprise potential, Bolt.new is worth paying attention to. Created by StackBlitz, Bolt represents a major shift in how browser-based development is done. The platform recently raised $83.5 million at a $700 million valuation, which shows just how much confidence investors really have in the future of vibe coding. Bolt is great because it's built for developers who want rapid scaffolding and prototyping without the usual setup time. And it's especially useful for experienced developers who need to spin up UI designs fast, then move everything into their own IDE to refine and scale. Bolt supports all the major JavaScript frameworks and can generate full stack web apps with package management, deployment, and built in database integration. If it works on StackBlitz, then it works on Bolt. Now, what really makes Bolt stand out is its use of web containers. It runs a full Node.js environment right in your browser, giving the AI direct access to the file system, terminal, package manager, and browser console. That means you get true full stack development without the need for a local setup. And for developers who prefer more control, there's also Bolt.diy, which is an open source version that lets you plug in your own LLM provider and run things on your own. Overall, Bolt is a strong choice for full stack apps across a variety of frameworks. This next tool though, takes a more focused approach and it's built specifically for React development with a design first mindset. Tempo Labs brings a focused design first approach to vibe coding that is built specifically for React development. It's a great fit for designers, product managers, and developers who want to collaborate visually in a shared workspace and everything happens in one place, which just makes the handoff between design and development feel so much more natural. Plus, it's especially strong when it comes to building user interfaces, component libraries, and interactive prototypes, which makes creating things like landing pages or even full-featured dashboards super simple. On top of that, Tempo combines the feel of a familiar design tool with full IDE functionality under the hood. 
It syncs with GitHub, lets you import existing React code bases, and it offers automated error-free fixes that don't count against your monthly limits so that you can just keep building without interruptions. Now, moving beyond React-specific development, our next tool expands into the world of complete website creation and brand building for a much wider creative community. Let's talk about Framer, which has seriously leveled up its AI features in 2025. It's brought powerful vibe coding capabilities into the mix, and it made web design just more accessible than ever this year. They're mostly targeting designers, marketers, and entrepreneurs who want to create professional websites without coding knowledge. So it's a particularly strong tool for those who prioritize their design quality and brand consistency. It's quickly become a go-to tool for many when it comes to building marketing sites, portfolios, landing pages, and business websites. And with the new workshop function, you can even create custom components and interactive elements, which will give you even more creative control. Essentially, it brings vibe coding into component creation by automatically recognizing your site's colors, fonts, and layout, so all of your assets and elements stay consistent. It also comes with built-in analytics and automated A-B testing, giving you tools to track performance and optimize your site without needing extra plugins or any extra setup. Moving on, our next tool focuses specifically on building business applications and custom software solutions. Base44 takes a very straightforward approach to vibe coding by focusing on custom business software creation through natural language conversations. It's built for entrepreneurs, small business owners, and teams that need custom business tools but don't have a technical background. It's especially helpful if you're looking for something functional and easy to use without needing heavy integrations or complex setups. It's a strong choice for creating internal business apps, so things like customer management systems, inventory trackers, project dashboards, and custom data tools. And the focus here is on solving real business problems rather than building those flashy consumer facing sites. One of its biggest strengths is how it handles data and security. So you get full control over who can see what with customizable permissions and access rules. And if the AI ever misinterprets your prompt, every chat message has a revert option. So it's easy to backtrack and adjust. Now let's shift a bit here to talk about tools that bridge the gap between visual design and functional code, starting with one of the most anticipated releases of 2025, and that would be Figma Make. Figma Make recently launched this year and already represents a major evolution in design to code workflows, and it is Figma's answer to the vibe coding trend. This tool transforms the traditional handoff between designers and developers by streamlining the entire process, and it's particularly valuable for teams already using Figma who want to extend their workflow into functional prototypes. So what exactly can Figma Make actually do? Well, it can build functional web apps, interactive prototypes, and responsive websites, either from scratch or starting with existing Figma designs. You can also use natural language prompts to generate new applications that stay consistent with your design system, making it easy to go from idea to working product without breaking your own visual standards. And what sets Figma Make apart, and likely is why its release was so anticipated, lies in its ability to inherit existing design systems and components directly from your Figma files, which is something that most other vibe coding tools simply can't do. It's powered by Anthropic's Claude 3.7 Sonnet and includes drop-down menus for quick adjustments, so you don't always have to re-prompt the AI. It also works perfectly with Figma sites, of course, making it very simple to publish your site once you're ready to go live. Now, our final tool in this video shows how mainstream creative platforms are starting to embrace vibe coding by pushing past traditional design limits and stepping into the world of functional AI-assisted development. Canva Code marks another big step forward for the popular design platform as it brings interactive coding features to millions of everyday users who probably never even expected to build functional applications. It's a great fit for marketers, educators, content creators, and many other small business owners who want to enhance their Canva designs with interactive elements, but without worrying about all of the complexities typically associated with coding. The tool focuses on lightweight, embeddable widgets like pricing calculators, quizzes, countdown timers, interactive maps, and simple games. So these features are mostly meant to bring life to static content across presentations, websites, and marketing materials. What really makes it shine, though, is just how smoothly it fits into Canva's existing design ecosystem. 
It's just really easy to use. You can literally just drop interactive elements right into your designs and use them across desktop, mobile, and tablet formats. Plus, built-in safeguards just help keep everything appropriate and ready for public-facing content. All right, now that we've explored eight distinct approaches to Vibe coding, let's take a quick step back and see how they all sort of fit into the bigger picture of this software development evolution. The Vibe coding tools we've explored today all take a different approach to the same breakthrough idea, which is turning plain language ideas into real functional applications. You might be a beginner using Lovable, part of a team collaborating in Replit, or a designer building visually in Framer. But no matter your background or workflow, there's a tool built to support how you create. These vibe coding platforms make development faster, remove technical roadblocks, and ultimately let you focus on solving genuine problems instead of worrying just about code. And it's an important shift that's opening up software creation to more people than ever before. And now, if you are looking to bring any of these tools into your workflow or need a little bit of extra support to take the vibe coded project to that next level, Fiverr actually makes it really easy to find the right help. You'll find experts who understand both traditional development and these new AI assisted platforms that are ready to jump in when you need them. And now, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, or drop a comment. I would love to hear what it is exactly that you're actually building, and I'll see you in the next one.